guys and welcome back to my parents kitchen today we're making a classic french recipe a gratin dauphinois we're making a classic version and my own version and with that being said let's go for our classic gratin dauphinois we need potatoes fresh cream nutmeg garlic and milk for our second version stuff that i like to add not authentic at all cheese even more cream and more garlic but we'll see you later we'll make some room and we'll start our prep and our nutmeg on the table get your nutmeg and start grating about here, I don't want to lose my fingers. We'll reserve this one and grab another one. All right, this should be enough. My fingertips are still intact. Mission complete. And now we will reserve our nut for later. Now it's time for our potatoes. They're a bit too big. Grab them, put them on the table, and cut them into. You can use smaller potatoes. These were on special, so I got these instead. Moral of the story, get potatoes with a lot of starch. Slice into. We'll reserve these and the other ones can go away. Now we want to cut our potatoes. Mandolin on the table, grab your potato and start slicing. You want our potatoes to be about two to three millimeters thick, about this thick. Not too thick, not too small. Go all the way to the end. We are at the end, next one, and go. It's not a race, but we're hungry, so let's go fast. And with the power of editing, I will see you when it's all done. Our plate's looking a little bit full. Mandolin to the side. Bowl front and center. Potatoes in the bowl. The remaining potatoes can go inside also. They're all here. Flippity flip and now let's continue with our prep. More potatoes. Bring the mandolin back and let's continue. Slow down your pace. Good enough. And now reserve with the rest. In the bowl. Plate can go away. The remaining pieces know their way. And potatoes, let's reserve. Now more flavor, our garlic on the table, cut in two, bowls one, two, three. With our garlic, rub the bowls. Rub the sides, rub the middle. It's gonna add another layer of flavor to everything. Rub inside, rub on the sides. Do a tourne retourne, and one last one. And our garlic, we will reserve. Our starchy boys can come back. I'm making one authentic and two my way. So, starchy boys, some salt. About that much. Pepper, about this much. Nutmeg, sprinkle some on top. For the quantities, it's up to you. And now we'll do a tourne retourne, a flip reflip. Make sure it's all coated well in nutmeg, salt, and pepper. And for our original one, let's stack, baby. No time to waste, we're just throwing it all in for now. We're hungry, we're busy, so this is what we have for today. And the other ones, we'll reserve for later. Moving on to our cream, let's open it up. Perfect. Grab a spoon and pour it all out. About 250 grams. Put it there, and just a bit of milk to make it a nice consistency. About the same amount. Clean up our spoon with a whisk. Yeet our spoon. Whisk one way, whisk the other way. Do a tourne retourne. Still a couple clumps, keep going. Have a beautiful homogenous mixture, and pour this mixture on top of your potatoes. About that much. Make sure you cover them well, and the rest, don't worry, we'll save it for our other versions. Our oven is toasty warm at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Our gratin dauphinois can go right inside, and we'll cook it for about 45 minutes. So, let's just wait. But now moving on to my version, we need cheese, garlic, and cream. Like I said before, this is not authentic. So if you want to only watch the authentic version, end the video here and skip ahead. But if you want some more flavor, this is what I do. All right, so decimate your garlic. And now slice and dice. Decimate it. And as always, three fingers on top and the other two on the side to keep them nice and safe. Cooking is very fun, but not if you cut yourself, so watch out. The garlic is decimated to my liking. We will reserve it with our potatoes. Throw it all in there. Moving on to the next part of my version, the cheese. Cheese and great. Up to you how much you want. No one said it was a healthy recipe. And reserve. Now our cheese can go away, and the bowl with our cream can come back. Now, cream 35%. It's a bit different than the other one. Inside, about 250 milliliters. Milk, 2%, 150 milliliters. Like that. Incorporate. There we go. And all on top. And the bowl can finally go away. And now we will pre-cook our potatoes on the stove, but I need a pot. Where's the pot? Here's the pot. And now grab all of your potatoes and cream and just pour it all on the side. No one left behind. Bowl in the sink. We will equalize all of this goodness. Heat on high. After five minutes, turn the heat down to medium low. Stir it all in. And now we still have to wait another 10 to 15 minutes. 
After about 15 minutes, let's check. Our potatoes do not give any resistance. We are ready to go. Heat it off, grab it off, place it here. Grab our potatoes in the prepared dish. It smells absolutely amazing with the nutmeg and the garlic. Do the same with the other one. All of our potatoes are inside and now coat the potatoes in the remaining cream. Grab all of that remaining cream and now the cherry on top. In this case, it's cheese. Pick all the cheese off, equalize. Now a kick of spice, chili and paprika, in other words, isu. And there we have it. And now we wait for the authentic gratin de finois to be done and we'll put these in the oven on grill. Our main gratin de finois is done. After 45 minutes, here we go. An absolute beauty, crispy, perfect. And now our versions can go in the oven. Still on 350 Fahrenheit. Now wait about one or two minutes. After two minutes, it should be done. Heat off. And what do we have? We have a beautiful gratin du mât. It's a hybrid between what I like and a traditional gratin dauphinois. And now look at what we have. The original gratin dauphinois and whatever I made. And let's look at the original. Perfectly well cooked, very tender, great consistency, beautiful. And now my version. Also, very nice consistency. No resistance for the potatoes. And for the cheese, gratiné to perfection. What an absolute beauty. And now we are ready to eat. There we go, our gratin dauphinois are done. Let me know below which one you prefer, the authentic one or my version. And as always, thank you guys all so much for watching my video and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, bye.